Good morning, everybody. A little cloudy today, uh, but luckily we're working in the barn, and I'm going to complete the saw clear that I started yesterday. If you don't know uh, what the heck I'm talking about, check out the video in the annotation above that's going to appear right now. The little, the little card with the little eye symbol. Yeah, click that, and you can see my last video. And if not, you can wait to the end of this video and just watch the whole process backwards, because I'm going to have that in the end cards. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so, uh, hey, that's a nice little lens flare right there, huh? Anyway, um, last night I was looking back at my reference materials and I noticed almost immediately that I got the pommel wrong. Uh, the wooden part actually comes to a flat point and then there's a metal part that attaches to it. So I'm going to create that, but at first I'm going to sand this end off. So I grounded the pommel off and I'm going to drill a hole in there and the reason why, um, I don't know if I explained this or not, but there's a, actually a metal part at the end of this pommel, I think I did actually say that, but since I can't cast actual metal, I, what I've actually done is I've stacked various washers uh, onto a bolt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this so that it uh, makes one like uniform shape. And uh, this washer, it's a nice little brass washer. I thought I'd put that on the very end before this uh, curved bolt. I don't know what you call it, but I thought that would give it a little bit of color and a little bit of variation if I put that right on the end. Anyway, I'm going to go and grind this real quick. Always there's protection, kids. Excuse me. Now tell me that ain't the dandiest little pommel you've ever seen. That looking just fine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That was pretty dark. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, so shiny. Yes, awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm really proud of that. I need to fix that though. Ugh. All right, guys. Uh, I just chiseled a little channel out of the handle. Um, just pretty crudely, actually. And the reason why is because it came upon a revelation. whoop do I don't have to fabricate another metal piece out of scrap metal, which would take literally forever. Um, clothespin. And as cheesy as that might seem, once I glue this end to this little channel, and I glue another uh, activator piece onto it, it'll work perfectly. Uh, I'm going to chop the bottom of the clothespin off about just right before this little hook. Um, so that actually does have something to grab onto, um, and then, yeah, uh, it'll, it'll work because, um, it'll have a piece on top that's glued on top that'll fit into one of those grooves and lock it into place, and you can still work this from, from, uh, from this with your thumb when you grab it, so it'll work great, and it's gonna be awesome, and it doubles as a clothespin launcher, so whoopie do. Alright everybody, you notice that's a little darker looking, the reason why is because I just stained that. Ooh, that is looking pretty. And, oh, oh that is looking nice. Um, I went with a red oak because I thought it would, you know, look, look good with the Bloodborne theme. Uh, because, you know, red is blood and stuff like that, so yeah. Alright fam, what I'm going to do uh, while that's drying is I'm going to make that little latch thingy. Oh, and by the way, my finger is doing better. Thanks for worrying and caring about me. I know you don't. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to wash off my brush because that's important. I have ruined way too many brushes. I have learned my lesson and you should too. Learn my lesson. Hey guys, so I didn't have any black. And I know I said in the last videos I was going to put undercoat of black for a specific reason for the metallic. Um... If you want to know the specific reason, go check out the last video, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I didn't have any black, but I did have some brown. So, uh, I was thinking, hey, you know, it's kind of a rusty sword thing in the Baba Doodle because it's from Bloodborne, you know, it's, everything's dilapidated. Um, I was, so I was thinking I was going to put undercoat of this, and, uh, instead of coating it completely with metallic, I was just going to coat the most, uh, like the flattest surfaces and leave all the like, indentations with uh, the brown and give it a little bit more uh, depth and character. So yeah, kind of like pre-weathering. 
Okay, guys, I have ruined my beautiful lawn, and I got the last coat of paint, well, the last coat of spray paint on uh, this here, and on the camera, it looks bright white. That's because this is uh, so, like, it's, like, chrome, and it's it's really good. The, this I would highly recommend this uh, Krylon Cover Max Silver Metallic Spray Paint. It's really nice, but it does come out very, very bright. Um, so... As you can see that's very shiny. shiny so what I would recommend is uh, if you do want to go for the shine that's great for that but if you want to make your blade uh, less blinding uh, weather it because that's what I'm gonna do that's gonna take away a lot of that shine and ma really make it look more metallic and less like it's straight out of the 60s with chrome all right, guys, the thing about spray paint is it actually doesn't take that long to dry. If you do it in uh, nice, even, but very thin coats, it dries almost instantly. And if you do it like very thin coats, but do it in like three coats, you can have that part ready to uh, and dry in like half an hour. But for, really, for the paint really to set in, you want to wait 24 hours just to make sure that it doesn't scrape or chip. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. But um, I underestimate how long it took for the stain. Uh, on the handle to actually dry uh, and that's gonna take overnight so for now because I can't make that latch until uh, I know how the blade is positioned on the handle that's gonna be it for today I know I should have probably should have made sort of that latch before I painted everything but it didn't so that's it for today thank you guys Thanks again so much for watching. Comment, like, share, do whatever you want. I don't care. But thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, or should I say, until tomorrow. TZ event. Ta-ta for now. And that car just ruined my outro. Oh, this you crazy mother...